All good. Hey everyone, Matt Moran of the Matt Moran Motoring YouTube channel. I do car reviews and car news every week on my channel for my 370,000 subscribers. And huge thanks to Saint-Gobain Secret for bringing me out to their Detroit offices here to learn about all the differences between laminated and tempered glass. Over the past five years, I've reviewed over 300 cars, but one thing I never mention is the glass that they use. The type of glass used can affect not only the safety of the vehicle, but also the noise and refinement of the interior when you're driving. Saint-Gobain Secret has been around for 80 years and is the glass chosen to be installed on many new vehicles, including Fords, Volkswagens, Porsches, GM vehicles, and even Teslas. They invited me to their Detroit office to put their Global Protect product to the test by smashing a few different kinds of glass is commonly found in vehicles. The first glass I'm going to be smashing here is tempered glass. It was discovered in Saint-Gobain's lab back in 1929 and is most often used for side and back windows. While this type of glass is very strong, I mean I can even stand and jump on it, uh, when it shatters it breaks into thousands of tiny non-cutting pieces and uh, always falls apart. So without further ado, let's smash some glass. So as you can see, the glass does hold together in some areas, but still shatters into all these uh, many, many pieces and falls apart very easily. Now the pieces are non-cutting, so that's good, but it you know just wouldn't prevent any object from entering into the vehicle, which is the main thing uh, where this glass falls short. But next up, we have the laminated glass here, and let's see how it holds up to an impact. Keep going. So as you can see, the laminated glass stays welded together and even after multiple hard hits, it won't let the object pass through. This is thanks to the laminated glass design which bonds two sheets of glass with a transparent plastic layer in the middle which holds it all together when impacted. So crazy. This type of glass is most often used on windshields because of its greater safety, but is also used on side and rear windows on more expensive vehicles like Volvos and Bentleys that are focused on higher levels of safety and interior refinement. Because of its design, laminated glass will also reduce road and wind noise as well as providing greater protection from UV rays. Last but not least, it can also be lighter than traditional glass. And I personally never paid much attention to the glass in my vehicle, but after filming this, I now take a look at the window and see the type of glass the car uses. So the next time you hop in your vehicle, check out the bottom corner of the window and see what type of glass your car has. And if you ever need to have some glass replaced, be sure to request an OEM replacement to ensure your vehicle keeps the same safety and refinement it came with from the factory. Huge thanks once again to Saint-Gobain Secret for bringing me out to their Detroit offices here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.